Multi-streaming from your Xbox has just got a whole lot easier. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how you're able to stream to Twitch, Kick, YouTube, Facebook, or any RTMP destination of your choosing utilizing Lightstream, which is now a free platform built directly inside of the Xbox that's gonna allow you to stream to all these destinations without the need of a capture card or a PC. Now, in order for you to set this up, you are going to have to have either a cell phone, a tablet or a computer so that way you can set up your widgets, your overlays, you can monitor your chats while you're streaming from your Xbox. And so what we're going to do is head on over to the official website, golightstream.com. And I'm going to make sure that I have a link down in the description below so that way you can go directly to this page. Now, once we're on this page, we want to click on start streaming which is then going to direct us over to the Lightstream Studio login page. And so you can log in with your Twitch account. And once you log in with your actual Twitch account and you authenticate with it, you are then going to be met with this particular screen right here, which is basically just going to ask you to uh, put in the display name as well as add your camera as well as your microphone. Now, if you don't have a camera, that's perfectly fine. You technically don't have to use it. Um, so once you have everything selected, like your microphone, which once again, you don't have to have selected because you're going to be streaming directly from your Xbox. You're just going to go ahead and click on join. And then you'll be brought to this screen right here. Now, I do want to go ahead and note that because this is a free platform and you are going to be utilizing a third party, there is going to be a logo that you're going to have to use. If you do not want the logo, you will have to purchase the subscription, which is right here. And it is going to be roughly around $12 a month. And that is for you to be able to stream in 1080p as well as to get rid of the logo. Now, unfortunately, because we are on the free version, we can only stream in 720p but still is not bad quality. It's just not gonna be the full 1080p stream that you're normally seeing. Okay, so what we're gonna do from here is add in all of the destinations that we want to stream to, such as Kick, YouTube, and Facebook. So what we're gonna do is come on up here to settings, and then we're going to click on add destination. Now you're gonna see that they already have some platforms that we can stream to, such as YouTube and Facebook, but we don't have Kick. So in order for you to add kick, what we're going to do is click on RTMP and we want to add in the name of the destination. So for this, what we're going to do is type in kick and then we want to get their RTMP URL as well as our stream key. So in order for us to get this, we are going to have to go to kick. We're going to go inside of our settings and we're going to go to stream URL and key. And this right here is where you're going to gather your URL. You're going to paste this here. And then for your stream key, you're going to copy and paste this right here. And then you're going to simply just add the destination. Now we have kick added. And then what we're going to do is add in Facebook. So click on add destination again, come up to Facebook, and then go ahead and log in to your Facebook account. Now, once you're logged in with your Facebook account, you are then going to want to title your stream. So for me, I'm going to title this testing. At the end of the description, we're going to do testing again. And now from here, we're going to select where we want to go live on Facebook. So for example, if you have like a gaming page that you want to go live on, you can click this drop down menu and you can select your gaming page. Or if you just want to go live on your actual original Facebook page, then you can just leave it as is. And then you're going to come down to your privacy. Now your privacy, you can select between everybody that's going to be on your Facebook, or you can just stream to your friends to the friends of friends, or you can just stream to yourself if you just want to test it out. So for me, I'm actually going to click self because I don't want to tag everybody on my friends list. And then you want to go ahead and you can select save. Okay. So now we need to add in our YouTube channel. So once again, we're going to click add destination and then we want to come and select YouTube from here. We're going to then select the account that we want to stream to, and then you're going to want to log in. Now, if this is your first time streaming to YouTube, then you are going to have to request access in order for you to go live. And then once you request the access, you are then going to have to wait 24 hours 
in order for you to utilize this feature on YouTube. So just keep that in mind when you're setting up your account. All right, so now that we have signed into all of our accounts that we're going to be streaming on, we're now going to head on over to the Xbox so that we can configure all of our settings for our stream to come straight through Lightstream. Okay, so we're now officially inside of the Xbox. And so what we're going to do is open up our menu. We're then going to come over to Captures and Shares. We're going to scroll down to where it says Light Streaming. And then once this load up, you are then going to be able to see your Twitch account. Now, if you have not signed in with your Twitch account, go ahead and do so now. So what you're going to do here is you're going to name your stream. So I could just name this testing for the sake of this video. And then what we're going to do is you're going to add in your microphone as well as your webcam. So if you have a webcam that you want to use, by all means, go ahead and plug that into the Xbox. If not, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to have one. Now, the most important thing we're going to come and do is go over to more options. And we want to match the resolution from the Xbox and Lightstream. So since we're not going to be streaming in 1080p, we need to open up this menu and come down to 720p. If you don't end up matching the bitrate, it's not going to end up working. So make sure that you do match what you're going to be using. And now for our destination, you want to switch it from Twitch and you want to select Lightstream. Once that's done, you are then able to uh, back out of that and you can just press go live. Now, once you hit that button to actually go live, you will then be able to see your live stream pop up in Lightstream studio, which would then carry over to all of your destinations like I have right here on my screen. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to actually stream to all four platforms because of my internet, but if you do want to utilize Kick, YouTube, Twitch, you will be able to stream to those platforms. And it's a great opportunity for you to be able to branch out if you want to grow your brand. So there you guys have it. That is how you are able to multi-stream from your Xbox console over to all of your platforms. Now, if you made it to the end, make sure you give this a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you guys go on ahead and subscribe as well as turning on post notifications so that way you do not miss a single video that gets posted up on this channel. And if you wanna know how to actually customize your stream so that way it looks nice and professional, make sure you click on this video right here as I walk you through step-by-step -step on how you're able to add your overlays, your widgets, as well as your alerts with Lightstream Studio.